just when I thought today's vlog was going to be like a dual vlog, like a compilation vlog, because I was going to like not do it today and just kind of do it tomorrow, <laughs> I said do it. Well, first I'll, I'll tell you guys that we're at Lowe's and that comes to no surprise. I'm, there's this heater that I want to try. I saw online and it's a cheap heater. If it works or whatever, I'll, I'll vlog it and tell you guys about it. Um, cheap heat. So anyway, um, I've been talking to Vincent Ward, who was Oscar on The Walking Dead, and we have come up with a contest. We're trying to get him back. To, we're gonna sign a petition. I'll tell you guys about it later, but I'm really excited about this because uh, the winner gets something from him personally autographed. So I'll tell you guys about that in a second. But right now, heat, <laughs> because it's cold. <laughs> Is it cold? Oh, you guys are so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so to start off with, uh, we, we need flower pots for our little heater that we're gonna build. And I'd say that this was about the right size for this one. Ah, uh, but this one is way too freaking big. I need like one of these sizes. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't know that Lowe's had burlap though. So if you guys wanna make like a uh, scarecrow mask, there you go. Wow, this is their holiday area. So naked in here now without Christmas. <laughs> Ace has my pots. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm so excited. I'm not sure if what I recorded on video is gonna come out or not. So first I went to Lowe's and they only had the four-inch pot. They didn't have the other one. I think I made that pretty clear. And then on the way home is like, oh well let's see if Ace Hardware is still open. Maybe they'll have something there. And sure enough, that's what was in the window was the six-inch pot. So we have a four-inch pot and a six-inch pot. These are not plastic. These are, I want to say porcelain, I think, or uh, clay. That's it, clay pots. So, whoa, naked baby, naked baby. Oh my God, he's so freaking adorable. <laughs> so anyway, it's cold at night. You guys don't want to waste a lot of money in heating and whatnot. Maybe you have a small room like this office right here. Some place that, you know, it doesn't get heated as well as the rest of the house and you don't want to waste your money with a little electric fan or whatnot or even baseboard heating. So here's what you do. You get a bread pan. Uh, this one here is a metal one. I don't know what size it is. It's a bread pan. Get four of your non-scented votive candles. And the only reason why I had to use knives on this is because you don't want to use sticks, obviously. But this didn't quite fit right here. So I had to improvise. So don't you're going to... What? Don't ruin my bread pan. Once you burn one of these candles to the end, you can use one of the exhausted candles to cover the hole on top of here. I just took a piece of aluminum foil uh, to try and seal off the hole right here. All right? So this is essentially what... Are you really going to ruin it? What? Are you really going to ruin it? No, I'm not going to ruin it, baby. It's just so that we don't start the house on fire. Which we wouldn't have a heating problem then. It'd be plenty warm. After you light the candles, you take the six inch pot and you place it over everything. So we've got everything test fit, id, fitted, fitted, test fit, id, right now. So now we are lighting the tea light candles. You guys can get these on Amazon or wherever, Walmart, for like really, really cheap, for like a hundred of them. And they last for about four hours. So we've got four hours here. So we take that and then we put this pot on top of it. And then from there, you put this pot on top of this pot, like this. So the way that this heats is through convection. So the center pot gets extremely hot and then the air then is sucked into the, in between the two pots and the air is heated and then it comes out the top right here much warmer and it's oh my gosh it's already starting to be kind of warm right here so yeah I, I if I had a thermometer or something I do like a temperature of the room before and after so it's been lit for only about five minutes I found my infrared temp gun so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be well let's do this first yeah we're at 78 degrees 79 80 so temperature right now just standing and shooting up there is uh, 68.3 so we'll check it in about 20 minutes so I don't know how accurate it is but across the room now 
we're at 69 degrees, which <laughs> I'm not sure that changed too much, but it is heating, because take a look at this. On the outer pot, we've got like 132 degrees, 141 at the max. And then if we go to the inner core, holy crap, hold on, look at that. 167, 170, 180 degrees almost. Wow, so it works, guys. It really works. I can feel the heat from it. It's cool. It's not a fan. It doesn't blow the heat around, so it, it comes off of it, but it's really pretty cool. Um, yeah, so anyway, going to take a break and watch American Horror Story, and then from there, I'll tell you guys about the awesome thing with Vincent Ward. Here is the I petition, and, and I'll have more information tomorrow. I was going to have it all today, but being that uh, Vincent and I are going to talk tomorrow, um, I want to make sure that we get everything ironed out and straight. So here we go. This is the I petition. And if you guys remember, uh, he was Oscar on the, the Walking Dead. I told you that. But his storyline was never really um, sealed, never uh, really wrapped up as far as his death. And that right there is the one that he signed for us at Crypticon in Seattle. So maybe you can uh, remember that a little bit more. Uh, Norman Reed is in the back there also. Um, oh, and of course his friend Lou Temple, but unfortunately Lou was very... <laughs> He, he was shot in the head, <laughs> so can't really uh, bring him back either. But anyway, I'll tell you guys this much. There's going to be a drawing. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to video yourselves filling out this I petition and put it on your YouTube channel. Very, very simple to do. If you do that and shoot me the link, then one person chosen from random will get an autographed picture of Vincent Ward. Personally, himself. It's real, it's awesome. It's gonna be so cool, I'm so happy. <laughs> I, we want him back. So anyway, right now, uh, he's at 266 signatures, we're looking for a thousand, and you can kind of read the story here a little bit also. Like I said, there will be more tomorrow. So if you go and do this tonight, make sure you get it on video, post it to your YouTube, ch <laughs> YouTube channel. Make sure that you put this link right here down in the description of your video on YouTube so that uh, other people know where to go um, because we want him back. He's an awesome actor, very, very nice guy. And hopefully tomorrow, um, I, wanna, I wanna see if we can't get him on teleconference or something like that, but don't hold your breath. Um, he is very busy. Uh, we'll do this more tomorrow. I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, I've already said that too. So anyway, guys, uh, let's do cock real quick. You guys want to do cock with me, don't you? I know you do. Little Giles, I can feel my childhood slowly dissolving to a bunch of goo as I watched Snoopy's face and body be ground away. Oh wait, it's for Halloween. Woohoo, go for it! <laughs> Yeah, I, I felt kind of bad, but then again, I didn't because the outcome will eventually be a haunted house. Cup Zone 2, all right, the countdown timer is getting Halloweenized. Can't wait to see the finished product. Um, Oh, yeah, I've got the skeleton. I'll show you guys tomorrow, maybe, if I remember. Um, I've got the skeleton, and I've shown the skeleton once before in the vlogs a uh, long time ago, um, back with my uh, elementary school log cabin project um, that I've never completed either. Ace Finger Skate, where did you get the cat bug blanket? I want it. Um, I think she got it directly from the website. I was hoping that she might be in here, but she's laying down with Phoenix, so I don't know. Sorry. Adam Owens, I have one of those grinder wheels at home. It's called a bench grinder. Where's the pallet maze tutorial? Um, I can show you. Here's something that you guys have never seen before. I've never shown this to you. So here you go. <laughs> These are all my uh, temp files because I, I take and transfer them from the camera into my temp folder. Uh, these are the happy haunting outros and these are the finished vlogs. I've got another project temp and oh, what's this? Palette tutorial. Yes, to where I've got all the files that I've cut for the palette tutorial in there. And then of course 2013 haunt footage, day one, two, three, four and stills and walk through temp and so day three goes to like corn maze hallway and merchandise area. And then day four, I did the hallway walk through corn maze Charlotte's room. And then day two, hallway mirror, corn maze. I think I did the same thing for day one. Yeah, hallway mirror and pallet maze. So 
those are some of the scare videos that you guys will have coming up also. So see, see, look, you wait till the end of the vlog to where I sit here and ramble for a while and you learn important details. So keep watching because I give important details. And I just said that. And Jordan Winton, I just stabbed it and it laughed. LOL, that end clip was hilarious. Um, thank you, that was taken from last year's haunt when Lori Lee was pregnant and we were building it. So all right, guys, wow. This has gone on for a long time, so I hope I didn't bore you too much. Stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm happy about it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I've got to say about that. Because you do know that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And, and that's just about it. You just don't know what you're going to get. So anyway, guys, I will say happy haunting. And I, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bro. This is Vincent Embor, a.k.a. Oscar from The Walking Dead. Yo, happy haunting.